Welcome to Space Time with Stuart Gary. A crack has been detected in Earth's magnetosphere. A report in the journal Physical Review Letters claims the crack, which lasted over two hours, was caused by a powerful blast from the sun, known as a coronal mass ejection, or CME. The blast sent a huge cloud of plasma towards Earth from the sun's upper atmosphere, the corona. The plasma cloud slammed into the Earth, compressing the planet's magnetic field, the magnetosphere, from 11 to just four times the planet's radius. Earth's magnetosphere usually extends over a radius of several million kilometres. It acts as Earth's first line of defence, shielding the planet and life on it from the continuous flow of high-energy solar radiation and cosmic rays. Scientists detected the crack using the gamma-ray astronomy Petroelectron Volt Energy's Phase 3, or GRAPES-3, muon telescope located at the Cosmic Ray Laboratory in India. Numerical simulations performed by the GRAPES-3 collaboration indicate Earth's magnetic shield temporarily cracked for about two hours during magnetic reconnection, which occurs when separate magnetic field lines join together, releasing a burst of energy. The crack, which occurred on June 22 last year, was detected because it allowed increased levels of galactic cosmic ray particles of around 20 gigaelectron volts to enter Earth's atmosphere. Cosmic rays are mostly composed of intensely high-energy protons, with a smaller fraction, around 10%, composed of atomic helium nuclei, known as alpha particles, and the remaining 1% made up of heavier nuclei of elements such as carbon, iron and lead. While some cosmic rays are generated by the Sun, most originate from beyond the solar system and are thought to be produced by highly energetic events such as exploding stars called supernovae and feeding supermassive black holes called AGNs or active galactic nuclei. The highest energy cosmic rays ever detected was something like 3 million times more powerful than the highest energy gamma ray photons ever detected and some 40 million times more energetic than particles accelerated by the world's largest atom smasher, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Once cosmic rays hit Earth's atmosphere, they can produce showers of secondary particles such as photons, electrons and more massive versions of electrons called muons which can make it all the way down to the planet's surface. The coronal mass ejection which triggered the crack in the magnetosphere also triggered severe geomagnetic storms that generated aurora and radio signal blackouts at higher latitudes. Earth's magnetic field bent these particles about 180 degrees from the day side to the night side of the planet where they were detected as bursts by the GRAPES-3 muon telescope. Solar storms can cause major disruptions by overloading electrical power grids, shorting out global positioning systems, satellite operations and communications networks. The GRAPES-3 Muon Telescope is the world's largest and most sensitive cosmic ray observatory. It uses an array of around 400 detectors called scintillators located over an area of 25 square kilometres in order to monitor cosmic rays entering Earth's atmosphere. Mm -hmm. 